Hello everybody, welcome to my Burnout 2 Point of Impact playthrough on the original Xbox. We are going to be doing the championship, so let's start with that. And yeah, this is going to be my first time playing the game, especially in championship mode, because I did do the Offensive Driving 101 in a previous video, and I will put a link to the in the description below if you want to check that out. And there's single race, a time attack, and class, but we're gonna be in championship, so yeah, this will be my first time. Alright, so yep, we got Airport Terminal 3, 88 Interchange, and Palm Bay Heights. So I'm guessing this is a Grand Prix of sorts. I'm not sure how this works for the championship, but alright, let's get it started. And we do have access to the driver's head car, which you do get after you complete the offensive driving 101. But we're gonna choose a different car. Acceleration and top speed is not that bad on this one. It is less than the driver's head car. I think the uh, I think this car is the best, but we'll see. I don't know if I should start with the truck. But hey, why not? I mean, this is my first time, and we can always retry a race if we want to. Let's go yellow or goldy, as I see it right here. Automatic. I could go manual, but this is my first time playing through the game, so here we go. Welcome to Airport Terminal 3. Hmm. Well, the Airport Terminal course is in split second. So it's a little familiar, but I don't know. It's not the exact same track though, but still. We're in a little similar area. We can drift, we can drive on oncoming. There's a checkpoint there, so I guess it's more of a checkpoint type sprint race. Whoa! We can drift, we can do near misses. Whoa! Fill up the boost bar and get a full boost. And then we can press and hold A to get the boost. And if you keep on holding A, then you should get even more boost after that. And I got a perfect lap. Because I didn't even crash and this is... This is apparently not a sprint, it's a circuit. Hmm. Even though it th Whoa, I thought I crashed there, but alright. Woo! I'm just holding air, we're just going through the boost like there's no tomorrow. What? It doesn't even say that... Really? I did not even do that. That was not my fault. But yeah. I thought this was a sprint because I don't see any will that hints at how many laps there are. Oh. Okay, I see. So in the top left corner you have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm guessing that that is the laps. I thought those were the number of races that we're racing against, but apparently not. And how do we look behind? Okay, that's the horn. Select doesn't do anything. Okay. Y doesn't do anything. B doesn't do anything. Can you not look back at all? No. Pulling down on the right analog stick is apparently a hand brake, or a regular brake. A is nitrous, X, oh, X is low back. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're getting a lot of points. Okay, I can, I can kind of see second place. It's nice that there's a second place um, logo right above their heads, so I can see where they are, that's nice. Huh? Okay, yeah, we're on our last lap now. Let's try not to crash, even though that stupid douchebag 
move towards the bus so I couldn't squeeze between them. Like, what the hell, man? Fill up the boost bar, there we go. Whoa! There we go, not too bad there, we get another boost. I think if you keep doing stuff and not hit anything, then you should get more boost. Oh, we almost had a third one right there. But we got that there, and there's the finish, so alright. Okay! That wasn't too bad for our first race. And we got three opponents. Okay. Cool. Oh, really? I get a 666? How dare you? <laughs> Alright. Faster slap, 39 seconds. That's not too bad. Two classes. Honestly, I shouldn't have classed at those two spots, but whatever. And we got a lot of points too, so that's something. Alright. Three for me, two for the blue car, one for the SUV, and then for what looks like a Civic, we get nothing. Okay. Next race up there, Back to the Future Interchange. Let's go. Alright. This is not at all like the menu and race and event select like in Burnout 3 and Revenge. We're just going right into the Grand Prix Championships. I guess that's what it means by Championship Mode. There's no Tour Mode, it's just Championship. So, I'm thinking that's all we have are Championships. Come on, give me more boost. I need more boost, 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 people. It's all about getting boost in this game. Wow. I did not deserve that. But get out of my way. Why do you move? Stop playing chicken with me and get out of my way. <laughs> uh. And there's a timer going down, why? There's two laps, okay. And the timer is going down, why? Why is that? I guess if it runs out of time, if you don't make it to the next checkpoint, then you lose, is that what it means? Whoa, get out of my way, people. Like, seriously, man. Woo! I did not hit the wall. Woo! Get no! I thought I was gonna hit that guy. Don't hit nobody. No, don't. Idiot. Why did you cross? Ow. Don't hit me. What did I have to do to you? What an asshole. Wow. Okay. Come on, give me boost. Give me boost. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Whoop. Whoa. Whoa! Wow. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wow. A lot of close calls. It's really easy to class in this game, I've noticed. It's a lot easier to escape in Burnout 3. And in this game, you it's really easy for you to line up with the traffic and hit them. But, that's just me. Also, this is a long ass race. Whoa, don't hit that guy. 
Wow. Nice. No. Oh, come on. That should not have happened. Come on. That was not cool. Also, if you guys notice some good quality in this one, I do have the Xbox Zedusa. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's the HDMI adapter made by the Bahar Bros in the US. And I had noticed after using it and testing it on a few games, notab notably Bono 3 Takedown, this game, well, somewhat, Outlaw Golf 2, I haven't tested one yet, I'm gonna be doing Outlaw Golf 1 after this. Outlaw Golf 2, I tested it, and Bono 3, I tested it, and the and Need for Speed Underground 2, I've also tested that with the regular graphics 480i and the 480p, because Need for Speed Underground 2 and Burnout 3 both supported 480p. Outlaw Golf 2 supported uh, 480i, but the difference between using the AB to HDMI converter that guy did not even give me any room there. Wow. The difference with using the AB to HDMI converter plus the HDMI adapter that the Bahar Bros made, the Zedusa, there is a pretty noticeable difference. It's clearer and it's also a little better contrast wise. But I do also have the M Classic which is like a external graphics I tried to drift there but it didn't work thanks a lot traffic what how dare you pass me you are not allowed to pass me give me boost people wow will you get out of my way what is with you He's right there, I'm fine. Come on, give me boost. Thank you. Ow. Ow. Whoop. 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 Come on. No, don't hit them. Get back here. I need to win. You are not winning this race. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's right there. Oh, wow. That was pretty close. Damn. All right. Well, I do have the M Classic as well, which is like an external graphics, graphics card, but it's... You connect the HDMI into it and connect the M Classic into the source, which is into the Xbox um, adapter made by the Baharvos. So I have the Xbox connected with the Jadusa and then the M Classic connected into that and then an HDMI cable running from there into the capture card. So that's what I have set up right now and the key the picture that is producing. So, there you go. And with Need for Speed Underground 2 and Burnout 3, the, the quality is actually pretty noticeable. And I'll, I will be making a video showcasing the Zedusha. And yeah, that that's a little thing. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I think it has to do with the M Classic doing that or whatever, but I think I heard that because of the old games, especially on the Xbox, that the resolution kind of changes. The game resolution, not the capture card or TV resolution, but the game resolution changes sometimes based on what is showing on screen, so 
I think that's why the pixel cut in and out there. But I don't know. I don't understand that crap. So yeah, let's go to the third race. But yeah, the Jadusha is pretty good. It allows me to record straight with HDMI and it acts as a pass through, allowing you to have the Xbox in 480p mode or 720p mode if there was a game compatible with that. And there we go. I can connect it straight to my capture card, which is HDMI only. And I can bring you some good quality gameplay, like I am doing right now. So, yeah. Hope you whoa! Asshole. Also, these, this area looks familiar. At least with those bridges back there, it looked a bit familiar, like in Burnout 3, with the... What is that area called? Downtown or something like that? I'm not sure, but... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, get away from me, buses. I am not hitting you today. Come on, give me boost. Thank you. You could chain the boost one after the other if you keep on doing stuff, but... No, 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 ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Wow. I almost went into the... Ah, ha, ha. Woo. Nope. Oh, yeah. What? I'm holding A. Come on, game. Whoa. Okay. Woo. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got three laps, and that was the first lap. There we go. No, don't hit me. I did not hit you. You do not have the right to hit me. Come on, give me your L. No, no, no. Come on. Come on, move. Hello, let's go. We have a race to do. Get out of here. Woo! Oh! Drifting is a big part of trying to... Wow, you died. Woo! No! The... What is with this game? Stop hitting me, people! Okay, we gotta get up to... Catch up to first place. Wow. The traffic cutting in front is being really mean today. Ooh. What the hell, man? Stop getting in front of me. These guys are stupid. Oh, yeah. Don't get in front of me, people. That's how you end up dying. Stop cutting traffic. More importantly, stop cutting racers off. More importantly, stop cutting me off in traffic. You can cut them off, my opponents. You can cut them off. They do good to die. But me, no. Stop cutting me off. Woo! Okay, final lap. Whoa, get out of my way. Boosh! Woo-hoo! <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty standard. Oh. I let go of that. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Drifting, you gotta do a lot of that in order to keep the boost up. Cause there's not a lot of... Oh, wow, I just died. There's not a lot of places where you can get a lot of new missiles. So drifting, if you want to keep the boost up a lot more often... Drift! hit the bus. Never hit the bus in the face. That will never be good. Ho-ho! 
Bingo! Oh ho ho ho! Three in a row! Nice, right across the line. Good job. Wow, okay. That went pretty well. I gotta say. Okay, there you go. Good job. Hallelujah. Okay, 434,983. That's the best total time. 17 million points high school. Okay. Not really. Wow. I did not even drive that time and the truck just smashed into the bus. That's awesome. Alright, 9441. We got a trophy. That's awesome. Even though that doesn't look like a gold trophy, it looks more like a silver trophy. A rusted silver trophy, but alright, we'll take it. Cool. Unlock Space Shop 1 and unlock the Run to the Sun. Huh. Okay. So we got a face off here with hot rods, apparently, and race along city streets and coastal roads to get a sprint. Okay. So apparently the first thing we did is a Grand Prix of all things, and then we got the face off to do, and then the sprint. So that's all in this video. I don't know how long it'll be after editing, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's a Grand Prix, we'll do that in one video, and then for these other events like these two, I'm gonna do both of them in the next video, and we'll see what happens after that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video, and I'll see you next time for more. Later.